Well, what's up everybody? Welcome to the video. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, uh, it might be in the middle of summer, but uh, here, now, it's just after Christmas. And you know what that means? Small YouTubers like myself start doing reviews of all the Christmas presents they got. So, this channel's no different, so let's get into it. <laughs> right, so, in this video, we're going to be taking a quick look at this. This is the uh, ISDT608PD. Now, just to be 100% clear, I haven't bought this myself. This was uh, bought for me by my sister. But, uh, you know, she hasn't seen this video before it's released. She's had no input on uh, what goes into this video before it's released. And she hasn't paid me to make this video. Right, so now we've got that out of the way, let's get into it. Right, so jo joking aside, I'm very, very impressed with this little thing. You can see the size of it, how, how small it actually is. Uh, we'll run through a few bits now and then we'll actually go down to the bench and have a proper look at it later on. But yeah, it's uh, very reminiscent of, uh, I'm going to show my age here, remember the original Game Boy? Game Boy, Game Boy, Game Boy, Game Boy. As far as I'm aware, you can't play any Tetris or Super Mario on this. Mind you, somebody's probably going to come out with some firmware that'll allow you to play Doom on it, like they usually do. But no, this, this thing is super impressive. It's uh, more or less a fully packed, uh, fully featured little LiPo charger. So right, instead of me prattling on and dribbling in, what we'll do now, we'll go down to the bench, I'll run you through some of the specs, show you how to work it, show you, show you some of the little features that really impressed me with it, and then uh, we'll come back up and I'll give you my final thoughts. So, right, let's go. Right, so here we go, a bit of a closer look at the actual thing itself. Now you can see on the front there, we have uh, three little buttons, a left, a right, and then a centre for selecting. We'll go through what they do a bit more when we power this up. Uh, I believe that's a 2.4 inch colour screen. Uh, looking round the sides, you can see there there is some vents and they're in it. Now looking in, it does look like there's some heat sinks or in, uh, something in there, but I'm not sure whether there's an internal fan or not, I'll, I'll try and find out. Uh, Looking at your bottom there, which is your output, that's your XT60 cable, and then you want a 6S balance cable there. And then on the top's your input, again, XT60, but there's also a USB-C there. Now, I don't know whether you can actually read this or not, though. I'll try and get it angled right. Now, the uh, USB-C on the top, you can see there, it says PD, input and output. So you can actually uh, plug a light point to the bottom and uh, use that USB-C to charge your phone or whatever. Now just on about size wise, I'm sure plenty of you know Speedy Pizza's, Speedy Pizza's LiPo's and have a rough idea of the size of them. This is a 6S1200 and you can see it's maybe a bit wider there or a bit thinner. So just a rough guide there to uh, show you the size of it. Right now we've got this LiPo, I might as well plug it in. And then you see on the front there, DC in. Now one of the great things about this, you can see as soon as I've plugged my input battery in, it actually gives me the option there on the screen to set what my voltage limit is. And what that means is, let's click, click there, that battery now, I set that at 22 volts, I think it was. So that battery won't go lower than 22 volts, or it'll give you an alarm when it gets to 22 volts. So wherever you're charging on this end, you're not going to kill your input battery, which I think is a great little feature. So if we press the middle button now, this takes you to your presets. Now, if you go through there, I believe you can have five different presets, but we'll just stick to the first one for now, because that's uh, set up for uh, charging LiPo's. Now what you want to do is hold the button down, and you see how this starts flashing there. And then if you wanted to charge a bigger LiPo, if you wanted to charge a whatever, set that. That's your end voltage there, if you want to charge in... Uh, if you wanted to overcharge, which I wouldn't recommend, you'd use that. Press that again. And then 6S, you go through your 1 to 5S's, wherever you're charging. And then that one, obviously, is your different LiPo's. I don't know where half their main. <laughs> I think that's Nickel Metal Hydride, wherever one of them is. Uh, obviously, it does your high volts, but we'll leave it on LiPo, because that's what we're going to use. And then to come back out, you just hold that button down. And that's your charging thing set. Now I've got another battery here. I'll, I'll plug this in. We're not actually going to fully charge it. I just want to quickly show you uh, the charging screen. You see as soon as I plug the balance lead in there. The uh, cell voltages come up. 
Right, this is a bit cumbersome, so <laughs> hopefully you can still see. Right, so as soon as I plug that battery in, you can see there it's brought all my cell voltages up. If we press across, that brings you back to your screen now. I think that's the voltage of your your, in, uh, your output battery. So what we want to do is click the middle button. That takes you back to your charging screen. Now we've already set all that up. So all we do is do is press the middle button and we're charging. Now you can see the screen at the top there. I believe that's your uh, your amp, amps there. That's the voltage of your, your battery. That's your input battery. That's 22 volts at 32 watts. And I think that's the temperature of your charger. Now if we press across, that brings up all your cell voltages of your input battery. Uh, your output battery because don't forget that's got the balance laid in your top one doesn't if we go across that brings up all your uh, internal resistances of your cells not the best battery in the world but just for where i want pressed again back to that screen so as simple as now when you want to stop all you do is press that middle button and you say that's changed there and there you go that's how you charge your battery now if you remember at the beginning i showed you the uh, usb-c input and output at the top and you'll notice there there's an interesting word there and that's input so what i've got here this is just a standard five volt charger from a mobile phone and you'll notice if i plug that in it actually powers it up now don't forget this isn't a pd one the super fast power ones you can see there it's only putting 5.2 volts in but what i want to do is plug the LiPo back in and we'll see if we can charge a LiPo using USB. And it's in. I'm just going to use our standard preset that we had. What do you reckon? Will it work? Oh, it's charging. <laughs> Look at that. But now You'll, you'll probably notice straight away there is some limiting factors of this uh, using a USB uh, phone charger, a charger LiPo. And my first one there, if you look at the amp rate at the top there, I had it set at 1.2 on the uh, screen, which only charging at 0 0.3 amps. And obviously this is limited. You can see it's only 10 watts or whatever. But I think it's quite a handy little trick if, you know, if you're, if you're absolutely desperate for one or two LiPos, you could sharp... Uh, you could sharp go away we're using that better than nothing i suppose right the other little party trick i want to show you involves my phone so i'll just grab my phone you see that i've got a little app called isd link so we're going to click on that and you see it's brought up two charges there it's got the uh, 608 pd which i've got here it's also brought up my q6 retro well that's not plugged in at the minute but if you wanted to see a little thing on that i can do something right you see, oh, that's noticing standby because I've got it plugged in. So I'm going to click on that. And that brings up the uh, information screen for that. And you see at the top there, it's got all my cell voltages and everything on. Now, it's not just for information, this uh, little screen. You can actually use it to uh, stop and start your charger. So if you, I don't know why it hasn't come up. But if you remember, presets on that. I'll just hold my finger down on it. You see, that's my presets for preset one, which was for charging this battery. So we'll click the tick and then the little play button next to it there. We play that. See? See that now? That is now charging. So if needs be, rather than using the little buttons to click backwards and forwards through, you can actually just use this app uh, to control it. I actually find it a lot quicker and easier using this than I do messing about with the buttons. Now if you look at the top of the screen there, it does give you some useful information. Try and hold it still. You can see it tells you how much it's charging. You've got your battery voltages and internal resistance there. And it's also telling you what the input is. Like I said, it's only a phone charger this, so it's only 5 volts, 10 watts. But in a pinch, it could get you away. I wouldn't recommend leaving this charging, you know, and just using your phone to monitor it. Because really, you should never leave a LiPo charging on its own. All right, all right we'll stop that now. There you go, you can see straight away that stopped. So yeah, that's just a quick overview of the, this little charger. I'm really, really impressed with it, you know. I think it's going to be a great little uh, travel charger to have in my bag for me, uh, my little 2 and 3S uh, quads that I have. I mean, you can charge a full 6S on, like, 6S on this if you want. All right, yeah, there we go. Love it. So there we are, that was the uh, 608 PD from ISDT. Uh, really, really impressed with that. Uh, also really impressed with the uh, 
the Q6 Retro, which you know I haven't made a video on that yet, but if you'd like to see uh, a little quick video on that, let me know in the comments. But yeah, back to this one. Super impressed, you know, the, the ability to run it off a 5 volt uh, phone charger and charge some LiPos, you know. I mean, it doesn't, you're not going to get the, uh, the same uh, amp rating and wattage pumping through it as you would with a, you know, a proper, proper power source. But in a pinch, you know, it can get you a, a couple of LiPos charged. So yeah, really impressive. Uh, and the ability to control it from your phone as well. I mean, the buttons on the front do work like I said previously in the video when we were looking at it the buttons are fine you know but having that little app where you can just tap a few buttons and have some presets and all that on really 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 good little thing so yeah that's a little charger love it right so thank you for watching this video if you did enjoy it please think about giving it a thumbs up and subscribing uh, I have got some plans to do some flying videos coming soon I've got uh, been messing about with GPS on a couple of my quads, so I want to try beta flight return to home on my 7 inch. Now, I've always had GPS on my 7 inch quad, but I've never really used it, I've always flown back. So I just want to have a little mess about about the uh, the actual landing part of it, because I know it'll come back to me, but usually they'll just hover, but I'm, I'm going to set it up so it actually comes back and lands and I'll have a little pad down and we'll see how accurate it can be in a certain area. So if you are interested in something like that, like I say, Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we upload that video. Right, enough prattling on. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.